Hello everybody. Welcome to the replay analysis of my, the first game in my DBBC World Cup qualifying. So it's in chase cam, um, which means the person receiving gets the ball. I was playing Chaos Prince. Um, he, uh, he, I chose to kick and then got a blitz, which is obviously incredibly lucky getting a blitz. Um, it's naff, basically naff style it was. Um, five normal skills for the Wood Elves. Which is two dodge on linemen, wrestle, uh, strip and tackle on the dancers, and leader on the on the thrower. Uh, full positionals basically, and two re rolls. Um, and he's gone for he gets an extra double, which I don't think he took, did he? Oh, double, yeah, block on the block on the ogre. Actually, really good as well. Um, right, that's that's lost the skills, and then a couple of guard, a tackle, the sprint. I'm not sure about the sprint. Maybe he's should have just been another guard there, right? Eh? And uh, a block on his catcher. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, I swam through there with the blitz. Like maybe I should have played more conservatively, but you know, with having this many dodge guys and not caring if the players die, like that's the big thing, isn't it? In a in a in a league match, you care if your players die. In res, you just don't care if anyone dies. So much more much more aggressive I am in in these kind of scenarios. So I put these three as a threat, and then these three to stop him just you know switching through and going down this side, or at least limit, hinder him switching through and down this side. Deep kick, so at least I couldn't recover it. So. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better. <laughs> right. Thanks for the chat there with these, uh, these things. <laughs> Hopefully they won't be too unruly. Um, yeah. So, I mean, he was, he was obviously incredibly unlucky to get the blitz against him. Put him under a lot of pressure. Um, what are you doing? Here? What are you doing? <laughs> and he decided uh, to pull everyone back to consolidate, which is which is a good idea, isn't it? Though he does he does a strange thing here. He does do a strange thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. I guess it would be a double GFI to get there. And the strange thing he does is he goes for a hand over a pass, one of the two. Goes for the handoff and fails it. Now, personally, I would have rather gone for the GF fight as going to the cage. But he fails the handoff and then gets to move that guy. Now, I, I misplay here because, see, I'm thinking, because I know he's got a thrower, right, with sure hands. I, fu I fucked up because I could have come in with this guy. Mm, I would have had to block him first, though, or him. No, I'd have had to block this guy first. Actually, maybe I didn't misplay too badly. Um... In fact, no, because I would have had to block without block first. Two dice without block. So I didn't really misplay. But it would have been better to have hit with this guy if I could have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight GFI. Maybe I should have done that play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no, I can go there. Dodge there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what I should have done. Hit with hit with strip into an additional block as well. So I didn't do that. I was hit with a guy next to him, which was as it turns out, was the wrong move. But never mind. But I did all this so I could two. It took a lot to two dice him actually because he had an assist and arm strength two. So that made that made hitting from that direction pretty difficult actually. So maybe maybe I didn't fully misplay. Maybe I didn't. But I just went for the hit without strip when I could have made it with strip. Got a push and another push and felt bad. So, could have just surfed that guard blitzer, which <laughs> which might have been all right, but then, you know, obviously the chance to get the ball as elves. It's pretty tempting, isn't it? And then, and then on stream I was like, oh, why don't I just hit with a strip guy? Cheeky AV break.
And then and then I, I just stuck him in the middle there. I thought about putting the war dancer and him there to like really cause him more problems, but then I figured he just has them. <laughs> but that gave him an easy 2D on the dancer. Gets the pal. Gets the cars. So that was, although I was lucky to get a blitz, I think I was very unlucky to get the war dancer Kaz the first time he was blocked. To be fair. I mean, he's, he's, he's got to rely on this 3+, plus, hasn't he? Like, he, he doesn't want to have to rely on it, but he, he's got no choice. Maybe he shouldn't have handed off again. You know, the, the, the Blitzer could have just run it in that cage, couldn't he? I think. Especially as he then moved to assist. Hmm. Yeah, the, the, he could have just been stood there with a the ball. Would have been better, in my opinion. But maybe he wanted the dodge to be able to... Uh, to run away if something happened, but you know, the fact that I've got the leaping threat, um, I'll want the ball in a strength three player uh, rather than a strength two player. And obviously, I couldn't hit from here or here, but I could hit from here, so again, maybe I didn't have to go for the hit this turn, but I thought the fact that I can leap for a 2D with strip um, seemed pretty good, especially as I've got a few players forward. Could go for a quick score potentially. I, I like that move, turning off the stand firm, because obviously his, his ogre is only strength 5. So if I'm pushing the ogre away, it saved the ogre from assists and stuff. Um, I thought it was a pretty good move. <laughs> Maybe I should have based that guy. Failed the old pickup, but a, a great scat for me. This is mostly just me trying to score now, isn't it? Really, I think his his chance of scoring on the drive is almost gone on turn three at this point. <laughs> um, <laughs> an absolute nightmare scenario, getting swarmed by elves and losing the ball. Allowing my dodge guy to get hit by tackle, not ideal, but couldn't have him hitting the dancer. So there you go. I mean, yeah, he's doing quite well, I think. To, to, to get out of this a little bit but I mean I can still relatively easy clear both tackle zones and recover the ball Jim foul classic <laughs> classic foul there The only bad thing is, oh no, I can't, it's a 3D, yeah, I just have to stand him up, it's a 3D. Easy clear. And another easy clear. And then. Maybe I could have handed off the dancer over here in a kind of cage, but went for the block and got the ball down. Maybe I maybe I fucked up there. Maybe I should have just dodged with the uh, with the dancer and I've had three people to cage him. But three doesn't really fully cage, does it? And I was only strength two. Maybe I should have handed off the dancer though. Eh? Maybe that would have been a nice play actually, handing off the dancer. And that guy dodged anyway, so again I had to base up the tackle. That was pretty risky. Because I thought I can't just take the ball down because he'd easy to deem me, wouldn't he? But pretty easy to two dice me anyway.
Not easy hit with uh, block or tackle though, he's got to make the dodge, isn't he, if he wants to do that. I guess that was just ensuring against if he fails the 1 in 9, at least he's based, rather than trying to get an assist for it. Gets the POW, though. You know, it wasn't really lucky. He was 75% knocked down, wasn't he, with block and tackle? So I expected to lose it there. Horrible bounce for me, but I'd had the good one earlier. So now it's becomes very tricky for me. It's swung around that turn, actually, hasn't it? Now suddenly he's got, he's got like five here next to the ball, and I've got. L's on the ground and it's not so not looking so peachy as it was the turn before. But still, got the ward answer with with block can chain the tackle guy away. It was scary having to dodge away from tackle, especially with only one reroll left. I mean, I probably should have handed off the dance of the turn before. A couple of dodgy, dodgy dodgers coming up. Oh, I just blocked. Use my last reroll. Wow, what a madman. That was, uh... That was interesting, wasn't it? 2 d him. 1 in 80 wand. And the reroll's gone. Maybe I shouldn't reroll that, eh? Easy to say now that it's failed and he's being killed, but maybe I shouldn't reroll it. Because it was still probably going to be able to get two dice by doing this. Nah, maybe not, though. No, I was pretty. Imp maybe I shouldn't have blocked. Maybe I just shouldn't have blocked at all. Who knows? So, he, again, he had to make a dodge, though, to make it two dice, and obviously he had to make it two dice against a dancer. No reroll left. Gets the pal. Dirty Ding Dirty Dino. But what a glorious scatter. That's like a dream scatter that isn't it? Could score two GFIs. Some people in chat voice the opinion that I should have scored. I don't know. I didn't like it without rerolls. I didn't, I didn't. I just thought, get the ball, <laughs> don't drop it. <laughs> Is the most important thing. So safe moves first. I mean, the, the catches are. In, he's in range of scoring next turn anyway, isn't he? If uh, if things go wrong, can't blitz with block because the dancer's got tackle on him. Yeah, I just I just decided to pick it up because I thought maybe I can get lucky with the dodges and protect him a bit. He dodge with dodge. Hit the ogre, try to get lucky. At first I was gonna three dice this guy, but then I didn't want someone to get hit by the ogre and wanted to try these these dodges through. And then the leap from the ward answer is better than dodging against tackle, isn't it? Oops. So I've made quite a good screen in the end. I was pretty happy with that. I thought, right, I should be able to score next turn now. I mean, even though you can dodge away for a one dice, can't you? But still, I was pretty happy with that. And you got the one dice knocked down. <laughs> and I was a little bit sad. But by going for the pickup there, he left all these guys that could have made safe moves. Didn't do anything. Didn't stand up the ogre or anything. So now, the surf is got a good chance of happening, hasn't it? But I want to, again, do all the safe moves now that I've got no rerolls. I mean, you should do safe moves first all the time, shouldn't you? When, when you have rerolls as well. But certainly not having any makes you play absolutely safe, doesn't it? Got the surf. And then just gotta pick it up. Ah. Oh 
glorious. Glorious, thank you very much, Swoogie P. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Thank you very much for the sub. Um, oh, and thank you very much. That's great. No big native as well. Um, right, so that, he was a bit lucky there, wasn't he? Dodging, dodging to her. So he was pretty lucky there. He got, I failed the pickup, and then he makes the dodge and the KO. So, um, you know, obviously, incredibly scary now without rerolls here. Welcome to Team Fantastic, Swoogie P. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, Yorkshire Kiwi, yeah, looking at it from the other end just because they had received. So as to give... It's, I think it's good for me to have a different view of the game as well, you know, to see what it would have looked like had I been in his shoes. So, and he makes a dodge out there, doesn't he? So, like, that's just brutal now. That, that's that gone from rolling a 2 plus to score to just having tackle zones and... Having to make two dice blocks without block, sad times. I did that dodge cause it, just because it was easier, wasn't it? Maybe I should have dodged this guy as well. I guess I should have done. Could have done two dodges to get him in. And then just to push there and I can two plus and score. Roll a one in nine. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't so happy about that, that I've, that, you know, I had to do two one in nines and a one in six to score. And I, I was, I would have scored early, you know, just to get the points on the board without a reroll. Especially, you know, I, was, I thought you'd be unlikely to be able to one turn. Um, tackle hit on the dancer, scary. Two TZs in the ball. Maybe he should have gone for the pickup. I mean, he had a reroll. Sure, it'd have been scary if it failed. Oh no, I know what happens now. I know what happens. Actually, picking up makes it less safe because I've got the strip, haven't I? He dodges this guy through and picks it up. Maybe he should try to hand it off to him, but with, I guess scared without the reroll. I mean, the pickup could have gone badly for him as well if he'd failed it, couldn't it? Could have bounced off there into the hands of one of these. That actually kind of makes it a bit easier because now I'm gonna, I'm gonna push him to there and strip him. Maybe I should have moved him in first before I did the hit. Don't know. And then I could have chained him into the end zone. Hmm. But that was a horrible scatter, and I thought about it for a while, um, and did the leap there. So, unfortunately, it's a turnover, so it ends. But the the tackle was stopping me make. Obviously, a seventy five percent dodge it would have been against non tackle. So I would have I would have made a dodge in with a different with a dodge player, but because the tackle was there, I couldn't dodge in. So I had to do the three plus leap, fail the four plus pick up. So I I felt a little bit aggrieved at this point to have not scored in his drive, but it was all facilitated by the blitz. So. You know, I couldn't really complain, could I? Um, luckily, I think he's got three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, he had 12 players, so he's down to 10 for the second half, thanks to the the foul and KO not recovering. I'm down to nine due to this catcher and that dancer who got cast instantly, which was brutal. So, so yeah, so this is my drive now. Um, back to three rerolls because the lead is still alive. So that, that, that's always good. Yeah, I thought the most important thing was just to pick up the ball seeing as it was quite close to him. So I would have I would have rerolled that and didn't want to have to spend my reroll on the last blocks first. 
three dice is safe because I just thought I'm just not going to re-roll these blocks here with three re-rolls. I just didn't want to uh, didn't want to use a re-roll turn one. Huge Kaz getting out bashed. He is now, isn't he? No, no, nine nine, even men, but still. He's got to feel bad about it. Feel a bit unlucky. So after planning my turn to not use a reroll turn one, right? I did this blitz <laughs> and thought, "Fuck it, I'll reroll it anyway." <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't great play, but I didn't like the fact that I was going to get a catcher two diced, and he was going to get knocked down, and guard was going to be in here. So it felt like a really bad failure state. So maybe I just shouldn't have blitzed um, because the failure state just seemed that bad. That I didn't want. I didn't want. I just had to reroll it. Um, yeah, the second one got cast on the second turn or something. Yeah, for the Toronto in chat there asking about the other. So it was, it was a tough game, getting losing losing the war dancer straight away. But you know, I did get a blitz. So so he's a little bit. He's left this open a bit, hasn't he? I think I think this is just a standard. Uh, this half is just the standard elves going one way, team goes that way, go the other way, team follows them. I think that's probably the plan that I've got in my head here, just trying to maximise blocks. I was actually going to go for the because he boneheaded. I was going to go for the tree man blitz just because he got mighty blow, and then the pow. Obviously gives him the uh, block, and then there's two guys on the tree, which is pretty good, isn't it? Um, Fan Fox asking why do I carry in the dancer because he's got blodge and movement eight, so he's he's the he's the best carrier, isn't he? <laughs> You know, it's uh, I don't care about I don't care about it's it's res, so there's no there's no star player points or anything. It's literally just trying to win the game. Sure, it makes means that sometimes I'll want a blitz with a ball carrier, but it means he can leap if he gets hemmed in and stuff. It's just he's just the best ball carrier, isn't he? Obviously, ideally, you'd have two war dancers, so one could do the blitzing and one could do the carrying. But yeah, I'd always carry on the war dancer by choice. So he does a good job of not overcommitting to this side. Though, well, unless you count the ogre. Still, you can get back to the middle of the ogre. A bit of a disappointing route. Uh, take root on the tree so he can't move for the rest of the drive. Means that I can't push the envelope too far side to side. But it does, it does make a very good like hinge to work around, doesn't he? Even though he's rooted. So yeah, I'm having a blitz without block, which is a bit crap. And I, I probably really shouldn't have used that rear all turn one. Random block there, because why dodge them both away when you can just hit and get a KO? So, so while I was lucky to get the KO there, some people would recommend dodging there, wouldn't they? But there's, you know, you don't have to dodge. You should only dodge as much as you have to with elves, shouldn't you? If people, you know, if you can make blocks, it's just better to make blocks, isn't it? I mean, I'm actually just out. Oh, he's he's getting banged on here, isn't he? Down weight, guys. I'm a nine. He's actually down men. This is a big commitment to get a three dice, isn't it? That's a huge commitment to get three dice. And he rolls it as well. Wow. Don't know what his thinking was there, because now this has just opened this up massively, hasn't it? If only he wasn't rooted, so I could have blitzed the ogre. That would have been GG, probably. Thought I'd push him. Uh, 
if I'd got to push, I would have pushed him here and then pushed him into the tree. I was looking forward to pushing him into the tree. So yeah, use, using the tree as a cage corner there, even though he's rooted, I quite, I quite like that. And then wanted a double screen so he couldn't easily base the ball. And then wanted to protect the tree from getting smashed by the ogre as well. Um, maybe I didn't need to make the dodge out there. Maybe I should have left him down. But there you go. Maybe this guy could have been over an extra square or two, so he couldn't get based. Might have been a might have been a better play. I mean, humans are pretty fast, aren't they? So while he like he he brutally committed there, all those players to three dice this guy, but he has managed to recover and uh, three dice this catcher. Well, not catcher, lineman with dodge, and uh, even up the players. And now it's looking pretty desperate. <laughs> Everyone's base pretty much, though there is a good. I don't really like that because it can't, it's it it uh it traps him a little bit, doesn't it? it didn't, that wasn't that wasn't very nice. That blitz, <laughs> not not a great, not my greatest work there. I think maybe splitting this guy somehow and, and caging here would have been better, but you know I had a bunch of dodge and. Yeah, I think I think trying to cage over here would have been better because now he can slam in from all sides, can't he? Tagging the ogre because I thought I don't want to deal with the ogre in the cage. And like ultimately, even if he does slam in, I've still agility four bludge, aren't I? So and he's, he hasn't got any tackle now because it was his tackle that was randomly KO'd. But yeah, he's absolutely going to swarm the cage, which is which is fair. Yeah, I guess it would have been so much better to go over here because I could have made a screen there. That this catcher could have gone there and screened off this half of his team from the cage. It would have been way better. Three dice for a push. Wow, re-rolling again. I think he's uh, I think he's pretty much wasted two re-rolls here. Like, I know he may have got lucky in the Kaz or whatever, but there were two greed rerolls on defense and three dice, it seems. I don't know. Maybe a bit of frustration creeping in. Scary one in 36 there, wasn't it? Yeah, having to having to dodge with a carrier, and then a bunch of two pluses here, committing willing to commit a reroll on these dodges. So it was horrible because the first one was the one with dodge, and he was the only one who could get there, which was pretty disappointing. So now two two pluses, and I can uh, make it pretty safe. It's already a little bit safe. I went for the three plus because he's got dodge, so I went for him first because he had the dodge reroll, and then him last because he doesn't have it. No, maybe he's blocking down the scoring threats. Yeah, maybe, maybe that was the idea. But I mean, the first one was a. It was a lineman over here, it seemed a bit excessive. I mean maybe he thought he had to he had to get the knockdowns when he had three dice to try and hurt them because he didn't have any tackle anymore. He overcommits here. Which 
I'm not blaming him for, I'm not saying it's a mistake or anything, but it's hard not to overcommit because how do you even stop war dancers? You know, they can just go anywhere, can't they? So if he had less here, it'd be easy for me to score this way, but now it's easy for me to go the other way, isn't it? No, <laughs> no, but thanks for that, Crystal Hunter. So I, I, I start with a 2 plus dodge and nearly fail it, which is... Which was pretty, pretty tragic. And I thought I stood here for a little bit and thought about whether to score or not. Um, but then I thought it was better to not score, and because you know, L and then that was a dodge with dodge, fail, into Kaz. Literally, the only roll to keep my guy safe was a one in thirty six. Put him there, and he pretty much can't get me. Well, he could go with the ogre loner. Let's put up, you know. Really, all I had to do was two dodges with dodge, and he's completely safe. And I'm like, oh man, I wish I'd just scored now. <laughs> you know? like, I wish I'd just scored. But, you know, he's got two turns. If these KOs come back, he's got ten players, and he's got catches. He could have easily scored in two turns. Um, these, these could have stayed out. You know, I'm five men down at this point. So I could be defending with six against ten. And he gets three dice, and with a reroll... Does not get the knockdown. What else being disgusting? Finally Friday, right? <laughs> Fecking scumbags, Kipo. <laughs> Thanks, Thor, for the bits. He should have dodged this guy out, shouldn't he? Irrelevant block there was irrelevant. He should have dodged him out to try and make this harder. Uh, what was the right play here? Oh, yeah, it was a dodge to a two dice. Because I could have just done a three plus two plus with the reroll, but it was better to do the dodge. And it were two dice because I could have re you know, I could re used a team reroll um, on those actions. So there you go. Turn sixteen, get the one nil. Whew. Summer star of Euro ninety six. What a player he was till injuries destroyed him. So he does get the chance to one turn now, um, but his arm, he's, he's only he's only movement eight and agility three, so it's a bit it's a bit crap. Yeah, true. I could have leaped with reroll, but the leap with reroll would have been an eleven percent chance to fail, whereas the dodge out was like about a three percent chance, and then. The block was like about a 1% chance. And then that made his other dodge a 3%. So I'm pretty sure that was absolutely the optimal way to try to score. Um, the way that I did it. Um, <laughs> leap with reroll to being plus 10 star points, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was the absolutely optimal way. And then I just randomly got a blitz to put peer to any chance he had of scoring the one turn. Um... I guess this guy was going to run around and blitz into the hole. I don't like the hole method, especially not when you're trying to do it with movement 8. Oh, no, he had sprint, so he's effectively movement 9. But I don't like the hole method. And I had these guys here. So it wasn't going to be easy for him to, to do the one-turner. But getting the blitz moves him back a square. Base, base the ball, maybe catch it, and then screen off between the thrower and the guy. So the blitz really sealed, really sealed the fact that he wasn't going to get a one-turner, I think. I mean, maybe he could still do it. I don't think he could do it at that point. But maybe he could have done. But I really don't think with the players he had, it was possible after the blitz. Yeah, so that's a fair point by BZL. You sort of have to hold method against this front line, but... It makes it harder, doesn't it? So, like, I was pretty confident that he wasn't going to one turn. I, was, I think it was a pretty hard one turn. And then, obviously, the blitz just made it ridiculously harder. So, I got, I got pretty lucky getting... Like, normally, a turn a turn 16 blitz is, is irrelevant, isn't it? But that was actually a, a good time to get a turn 16 blitz. Um, so, I definitely got crazy luck with the two blitzes. Um, but, you know, overall... 
had some ball handling difficulties. The ward answer getting cast straight away was a little bit disappointing. But, um, you know, that was, that was the first game in the DBBC qualifier. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in joining the DBBL, uh, Dodge Blue Bowl Liga. Um, so, yeah, off to a winning start. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.